So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and today I'm filming a bit of a life update because it has been a few months since I last posted a video on this channel. I think I last posted a video in like, ju ugh, not July, it hasn't been that long. I think I last posted a video in like January time and that was like my like favourite books of last year. So it's been a bit of a while. So I just wanted to come on this channel, um, give you guys a bit of a life update because a lot of things have kind of been happening and I'm kind of like into a lot of cool new things. So I wanted to kind of like talk through what I'm currently like enjoying, whether that's books, games yeah i'm into games now who knew um as well as like films and tv programs stuff like that so this is a life update slash things i'm currently enjoying so excuse the kind of like weird lighting it's like 5 6 p.m on a sunday night it's really raining it's dark outside so i've like had to turn all the lights on and you can tell i've not filmed a video in ages because i'm like how do i work my camera again what are all these light settings who knows so hopefully this looks like somewhat watchable. Anyway, as I said, I want to give you guys kind of an update on what I'm doing. Um, a lot has been going on, I guess, or a lot hasn't at the same time. So one thing, I got my hair cut, as you can see. I have short hair again, which I'm kind of loving because I just like needed a change. I think just needed it all chopped up. So that happened. And then another thing that's happened that I don't think I kind of talked about in any of my like last videos is that I have a new job title at work, which is very exciting. I am now head of publicity at HarperCollins, which is a bit insane. And I don't really talk about job stuff too much on here because I kind of like to keep, well, try to keep the world separate, which I know is tricky when I work in book publishing and have a booktube channel. So of course there's gonna be some kind of crossover there. Um, but yes, that was very, very exciting. That happened towards the end of last year. Um, and it's nice. I kind of have a slightly different role, kind of more strategic and managerial, which is exciting. And one thing that I really wanted to start doing more of was making more publishing videos, you know, how to get into the industry, as it's still extremely hard to get in as when I first got into the industry, like six years ago, which is terrifying how long that's been. But um, I do want to make more videos about publishing, how to get into the industry, kind of inside tips and tricks that you might not know, like what the different departments do. Um, I still really want to do that, but I kind of need to set aside some time to film, which has just been my life recently. I've just felt very unmotivated to do a lot of my like passion projects, I guess. I think because obviously, you know, work's very busy. I it, work in quite a high pressured environment. And I think I've just been a bit like, you know, nothing to do with like my work life, but like separate from that, when I kind of go home or at a weekend, like I haven't really been reading, which is kind of why I didn't want to like make videos. I wasn't really sure what to make videos on. Um, and then I just kind of felt quite intimidated. I know it's strange to come back on this channel because I kind of was like, well, I don't really know what to talk about anymore. And even though I'm still watching a lot of YouTube videos, like I watch YouTube videos every single day, like literally waste hours on YouTube. Um, I just didn't really know how I fitted in like as a creator on YouTube, which I think like probably a lot of creators can, you know, relate to, but I just felt a bit of a, like a, I don't know what my role is here. I don't know what my channel's role is. Like, I don't really know what it's about anymore, which is sad, but I'm coming back on and I want to kind of like make another effort to kind of like just put stuff out there that I enjoy and, you know, continue talking to you guys because like, you know, there's so many of you kind of still sticking around and I'd love to kind of open the comments up, tell me what you've been doing lately, fill me in on your lives, that would be lovely. So yes, I had a new job title, which is exciting, cut my hair, what else have I been doing? Um, I have become very obsessed with a lot of things. You will not be surprised to know that because I have quite an obsessive personality. One thing is my current read. So let me talk quickly about reading because not, a lot of that has been happening basically towards well all of last year i think i made a few videos about it but i've just been in a reading slump for a very very long time i can't remember the last time i read a book and felt like oh my god i can't wait to finish this like rushing to the end to finish it and then picking up my next read and like really being excited about that which is really sad because like that's the reason why i created this channel like i was so obsessed with reading what my next book was you know, doing TBR videos and roundups. Um, and I don't really do that anymore because like I find it hard 
to kind of plan my reading because sometimes I'll be into different things at different times. So one book I am currently reading that I am really really liking at the minute is The Court of Miracles and this is by Kester Grant. This is the proof by the way, it's um, from Harper Voyager published in June so it's quite an early proof I've got. Um, but look at this proof by the way, this is the back, it says Welcome to the Court of Miracles and then this is the front cover. It says this city is a dark and lawless place and we are its children. Basically this is like the book of my fever dreams, so like I love all the components that build this book. So basically this is a retelling of Les Miserables, um, The Jungle Book, there are also elements of, there's another like, oh, I can't remember what else, oh Hunchback of Notre Dame, that's another part that is like kind of woven into this, The Court of Miracles but after all is like one of the songs in Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, basically it's set in Paris, kind of like a Paris that is um, extremely fractitious and um, corrupt and it's basically like Les Miserables but the kind of poor and downtrodden form this court of miracles where there are different guilds so our main character is in the Thieves Guild and she is like this extremely skilled thief and her sister gets captured by the Flesh Guild and she basically like her life's mission is to find her sister um she also has another kind of like not blood sister but like a child that she kind of looks after um and basically that child has been set upon by the head of the flesh guild and is kind of like trying to steal this child and our main character nina has to kind of protect those that she cares about it is dark can i just say it's so dark but basically it's all I kind of wanted in a book. It's so dark, it's like Les Miserables-esque and the characters are all named after Les Miserables characters. There's Angeras in there, my favourite Les Miserables character. Um, Nina is Eponine, um, there is Cosette, there is Azelma from the book. So there are all kind of like amazing characters in here that are brought to life in a very unique way. Um, and it's not out till June, but I can't wait to finish this. I'm like a few chapters away from the end already so excited to finish. Um, the first few chapters were a bit strange because I wasn't really sure about the world building and there was a lot of kind of info dumping in the first few chapters but I can see why because the world is so rich and you really need all that information to get into the action so kind of keep that in mind if you do end up picking this up in June. Quite info dumpy at first but push through and it's worth it. Very dark, very delicious very epic and I realise I'm probably blinding you all with the foil so I'll put this down now. <sighs> so that's the book I'm currently reading. I also want to read a few more books next but I have decided I'm going to do a TBR. Shocking I know especially because I said I don't do TBRs anymore but I want to do a TBR of the books that I want to read over spring and one thing I wanted to mention actually that I am really really into is my Nintendo Switch. This is a Switch Lite and I got this from my boyfriend for Christmas. It's like the best gift I've ever received basically. Um, this has brought me so many hours of pure joy. So I've not really talked about like video games on this channel before but I am really into video games and I've always kind of like not had a console of my own, I've always played my housemates or like my brothers but I am absolutely obsessed, I'm like a Skyrim fangirl, so much so that I've written like kind of drafts of like novels like based on Skyrim, yep, nerd here, hiya. I'm also a big Assassin's Creed fan and anything that's like a fantasy world with a bit of history, basically what I like to read, I also like to play games of. So when I got this Nintendo Switch I basically was like don't really know what to play here but the games that I'm really really into at the minute are um, Assassin's Creed 3 which I'm currently playing, I don't know if you can see that but there you go, I'm currently playing Assassin's Creed 3, I've not played that one before um, but I'm loving it because it's basically like the plot of Hamilton the musical in an Assassin's Creed game it's great. I'm also playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild which um, I am really struggling with because it's really hard guys and I'm not a fan, this is what I've learned, I'm not really a fan of puzzle games. Um, I think it's because they make me feel stupid and I like, one of my like really bad like traits is I get really annoyed and frustrated when I feel stupid. Like I hate feeling like that. So when I play a puzzle game and I can't work out the puzzles like in Zelda all the time, um, I get really frustrated and angry so I'm trying to 
kind of play that slowly just as well because it's such an like a long long game um and then my kind of continuous game that i'm playing all the time is stardew valley i am obsessed with stardew valley guys like i don't know if i can portray this to you but i'm so obsessed with stardew valley like i started playing it on my boyfriend's switch before i got this this that's basically the reason that he got me this is because of stardew valley um and basically my whole world became stardew so if you are a stardew valley fan hit me up let me know what you know who's your favorite favorite character and all that um and the reason i wanted to mention my switch is because i'm really excited about animal crossing and that comes out in a few days now i think it's like four days um and i'm really really excited let me know if you're really buzzing about animal crossing as well i know a few of you will be um and also if you've got any game recommendations for me for the switch let me know like like i've said you know my interests fantasy world building um story-led games but also i like like stardew valley animal crossing that type of stuff also right now um i'm basically working from home like for most of the week because of the coronavirus situation fun so that's kind of going to give me like evenings where i don't really know what else to do because like the wise thing is to just stay at home at the moment like obviously i live in london which is extremely populated very densely populated and you know the most sensible thing is just to stay at home if you can and i am going to stay at home and binge my way through animal crossing and i couldn't be happy about that obviously the situation is pretty bleak the reason why everyone's staying at home right now but you know you're just gonna make the most out of that situation and be like i'm gonna focus on me focus on the things i enjoy about right now stay safe keep others safe hopefully it'll blow over soon so i think that's like most of the things i'm really into at the minute um i just wanted to come on here and basically say like i'm still here i still give a crap about making youtube videos i hope you haven't forgotten me please say you haven't forgotten me um but also to give you an idea of like the reason i've been gone because like it has been a while and i know it's not good when your like favorite creators just disappear not that i'm presuming i'm your favorite creator because there are so many other amazing people out there but the reason i've been gone is just because i've been in such a crap headspace like in terms of like creativity i've not written i've not read i've not filmed like all i do with my time is like watch netflix and play board games oh that's another thing i'm really into at the minute board games so me and my boyfriend have just been playing so many board games and the ones we're really obsessed with are call to adventure which is like a role-playing like um kind of like adventure story game you basically have to create your own adventure story like fantasy adventure story and it's point based it's a lot of fun so i love that i also love a game called azul which is where you've got to like it's point based as well but you've got to like kind of build these tiles very confusing but great also we've been playing a lot of villainous which is like a disney villains game it's quite complicated but i am obsessed with it so if you do have any board game recommendations let me know too um i've just basically been hibernating all winter i feel and now it's like turning into springtime i'm like i'm ready i feel a bit more creative i want to kind of make an effort to be more creative that's where my head's at thank you guys so much for watching if you've stuck around this long thanks for watching like seriously um it's just been so nice to film this and kind of like you know connect with you guys again and yeah it's been great so do let me know down in the comments like any of your recommendations what you've been up to anything you're loving right now um let me know if you're excited about animal, animal crossing because i really am so yeah Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon. Bye.